Okay, so been on a fairly um, lengthy seven, eight hour repair <laughs> of a um, um, little TS2000. And um, look, I, I love TS2000s, but um, they can have some interesting problems and um, you will spend a lot of time going through paperwork and bits and pieces and checking voltages and bits and uh, just crazy. Anyway, one of the little things, instead of teaching you how to fix a TS2000, um, I thought I'd actually show you a bit of a shortcut. Um, if um, a lot of people are worried about um, getting into the firmware menu on TS2000s, and you should be, because um, uh, sometimes um, you'll find that the TS2000 um, can be bricked um, quite by accident. It can be a, um, just a little glitch that can happen, and uh, they're a pain when they're bricked. Um, you can bring them back, don't get me wrong, but it's a hell of a procedure. Sometimes, you know, uh, needing yarn at Kenwood. Now, since there's no more yarn at Kenwood, pay attention, because <laughs> what I'm going to show you is um, probably something that got shown to me some time back. I can't take credit for this, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, but um, this was a chap in the US that uh, some time back was uh, talking about the uh, issues with the TS2000s being bricked at times and, and sometimes some of the issues of getting into, you know, uh, look, um, I've, I've actually been in and had a bit of a play with, as you can see, these are all the adjustment and you upload the, the firmware, etc. to uh, to do that. And there's pages and pages of stuff there. And I was going to actually do a run through on, you know, how to do that. But quite seriously, um, it, uh, in the end, I, I sort of thought, you know what, nine times out of ten, people will get themselves into trouble in the um, the firmware menus on these things, it, it's quite complicated, and once again, you can get it wrong. Um, the average tech will be fine, you know. So um, if you're you fall in that category, don't sort of pay too much attention. But if you're somebody that owns a TS2000 that you know is is not getting past 60, 70 watts or so um, in torque power, uh, now this one had some much bigger problems than that, um, I must say, um, and um, uh, it <laughs> was some. Um, I won't even go into it, uh, but look, you know, the good news is that um, a couple of new boards and a couple of bits in there, and we're we're cooking with gas. Uh, we we're just fortunate enough to be able to um, do some swap outs and bits to uh, to do that. So, what I want to show you is the little trick that um, requires a resistor wheel, like so. Something I've had since I was an apprentice, um, and uh, it requires a TS two thousand. And um, TS two thousand, um, often you'll find. Um, their torque power is not overly fantastic and they're needing to um, I mean don't get me wrong they'll torque up 60 70 80 watts you know but they just qu quite don't quite do that um, you know 100 watt torque power thing that real surge that you're looking for um, so what we're going to show you how to do here is uh, the hardware modification on how to actually um, do that and there's quite a window of resistance uh, with what I'm about to show you in how you can actually set the um, the uh, ALC on the TS2000. Keep in mind that you've always got on the TS2000, even if we do take the power up, we've always got this power control here. So if, if this 100 watts equals 120, 130 watts, let's say, um, we can always take it down as a percentage back down to, you know, say 80%, which would be around 100 watts. Um, so, you know, the, the impact of this is not to, um, not to have you run, you know, sort of massive loads of power all the time. Um, but is really to get that torque power up on the uh, TS2000. So in the front, so we're in the top of the radio here, um, as you'll see, um, over to my right hand side here, um, this is the ALC voltage that uh, comes in um, on the far right hand side here of this connector. So what we've done is we've just disconnected that wire here and here. We've put a resistor wheel in there. Now, um, I'm just going to set it back to um, Something that won't work. Oh, hang on, I'll just, um, oh, I need two hands here. <laughs> that will be right. Hang on, flick that around. All right, so let's let's do something here. Okay, so I've set that to about 22k resistance there, and this is about what it would stand. It'd be hello, test one, two, hello, 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 hello. Oh, I can't whistle now. Audio, audio. Oh, like one, two. Yeah, well, as you can see, my whistle would be better if I could. 
Okay, so about 80 watts, you know, at the peak on the whistle. Um, so what we'll do, we'll change that resistance value. Okay, so we moved that up to about 68K. Let's have a look on just a quick CW carrier. 105 watts. So we're getting a much better, when I go to sideband, Hello, hello, test, hello. One, two, one, two, hello, one, two. So we're getting a better average on that. Um, we can actually increase that a bit more. You'll find with your resistance wheel, um, sometimes the gap between your resistance wheel can be a little bit excessive. Um, with this little mod uh, to get that um, ALC, uh, around 68 to 82K will be fine. Uh, pretty sure, actually, if I'll move that over to 82, if I can just move that little fella. Oh, this doing things one-handed is really, really annoying. Hang on. Okay, so 82K, we're picking up a few extra watts. 107 watts um, that we're, you know, picking up out of that ALC voltage. I'll take it up to 100K. So we're now really splitting hairs. We just peaked 110 109, 110 watts. Now, um, I can keep going, and you can make one of these TS2000s, you know, get up to, um, you know, 130, 140. I've seen them as high as 150, but they're not going to run like that forever. Uh, so my advice is once you've got them up to about 110 watts, um, 110, 120, probably time to say, yeah, look, um, I'm happy with that. <laughs> now, what we do is we put a little resistor in there, 100K resistor. Um, we heat shrink it in between here. Um, and um, you're never the wiser, apart from the fact that, you know, it's, it's definitely there. Um, but uh, once you've got that 100K resistor in there, your um, TS2000, audio, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ah, now, okay. Now, there is a little, <laughs> a little thing that um, I forgot to mention. Uh, and we will have to have a little quick play with that. I'll just have a, a play. When when we're actually sitting here tricking the ALC, we're also tricking this meter. Uh, back in this area here, ALC voltage feeds back here. And so these levels here are actually uh, being mucked around with by over here. And it is affecting our meter reading. So one, two, three. So we really want to try and find an, a, a resistance that gives us the maximum power, but still for a good meter reading. And that was a little bit I forgot. And I'm glad we just saw that on screen then because it um, gives us a chance to fix that. So forget what I said about 100K. 100K will give you, 100K will give you um, uh, 109 to 111 watts output. Um, now, have a look. We've got it set at 47K at the moment. And this is, um, I haven't done one of these for a while, can you tell? Uh, but this was important. We still want to have a, a relative meeting, meter reading here. One, two, hello, one, two. So at 47K, we're still picking up 90% of that meter movement that we still want to get to be able to talk and have our one, two, three, four, five, hello, one, two. But see our talk power here? Hello, one, two, hello, audio, 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 audio. Yep. And see, that's the thing. Um, you, you're really picking up that peak audio power. Um, now, I can probably back that off just a tad more on my resistance wheel and just get a little bit more out of it. We'll have a quick play. All right, so now we've found the perfect 100 watt. Now we can obviously lose a little bit of meter adjustment, um, but at 22K on our resistance wheel, we're sitting over 100 watts on the on the dial here nicely, and, and the audio drive is one, two, one, two, one, two. That's no processor, really, really top notch. Hello, one, two, audio, audio. And as you can see, we're building up there. So we've lost a little bit by getting by getting that little bit of gain in, in here, we've lost a little bit. So we're gonna go back to uh, 33, I think, hang on, maybe even 47. Okay, so we've decided 47K ohms, 47,000 ohms, um, is about where we want it to be. We're not getting quite where we wanna be. We might be able to adjust that a little bit here in a second, um, just on our little, um, uh, adjustments in here, but uh, we're very, very close. But what we're getting is brilliant talk power. One, two, hello, audio, 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 audio. Oops, getting a bit sort of terrible there. Uh, one, two, oh, 
audio. Oh, hello. Still a little bit down. Uh, you know, I'd, <laughs> I'd like to go to 56 um, just to give us that little bit of extra boost. So I've, I've taken it up to 56k ohms. That'll get us over the 100 watt. Up to 105, 107 watts. So 56k ohms. Now let's have a look at this meter. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and I'll just have to see if I can adjust that just a little bit over here, um, just to see if I can make up that bit of a meter adjustment. But power-wise and drive-wise, that's where we want it to be. That's really looking good. Okay, we, we, we snuck a little bit on the uh, on the drive there. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. <laughs> not, not quite indicating where we'd like it to be. But I can tell you where we do like what we're seeing. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Hello. No, I can't whistle to save my life. Yeah, and we're getting over that 100 watt mark now. And the thing is that now this thing's driving nicely. One, two. Now, if we put the processor on, uh, we'll drive again a little bit harder. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Hello, one, two, one, two. Audio. And. Um, that's uh, actually, I reckon I've got my processor level at 50%. I was going to say it didn't seem like it was driving all that well. Let's chuck it up a bit. <laughs> and um, <laughs> hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio. Yeah, that's much better. But um, the TS2000 can work a lot better than what it does um, uh, with its, uh, its ALC gain. You don't need to go into this fella here. Um, and uh, play with the firmware. This is a nice, easy way to get your TS2000 working um, a heck of a lot better without having to be a genius. Um, we've decided on this radio, now keep in mind, buy yourself a resistor wheel on this radio, 56K, seems to be you know nice to get a nice variation of, this is reacting nicely. We've got good power output happening there. We're tricking the radio a little bit for sure, um, but we'll put a 56K resistor in there and uh, she'll be a goer. Uh, this one's the 2000X, by the way, so it does have um, uh, 1.2 gigahertz somewhere. There it is, up there. And obviously they, you know, quite a good range, these things. So, um, yeah. So there you go. That is, um, that is uh, pretty much all there is to say. The one thing I didn't check, which I'd be curious to see, does it do any more down on 80 metres? You watch, it'll probably do nothing now. No, oh, excuse I can't whistle. Audio, hang on. <laughs> Jeez, I need to have a drink here. All right, so let's have a look on 80 uh, meters. 124 audio. Audio. Okay, so I would not recommend that you leave it at 125 watts. Uh, you would then say to yourself, okay, lovely, but you know, maybe not. So let's take the power down to 80% of that power. And uh, we should be right there. Now off we go. Let's have a look at 80% of the power. Well, it's still not cut that back much, has it? <laughs> let's have a little look here. Uh, let's let's try. Uh, I'm thinking that's not as uh, linear as you'd like it to be. Let's call it 60%. Let's see how good Kenwood are at their room. Um... Yeah, look, you know what? I'm not sure their power limiting circuit works as lovely as I'd, I'd like it to. Um, <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm going to put it down to 50%. And actually, I'm just going to test carrier for a minute because it's going to be a lot easier. 109. Okay, so 109 watts there. Sorry, um, when we go up there um, on carrier. So um, if we uh, their 50% is obviously not 50%. Uh, so there's 35%. And that's 73 watts. So just check with a watt meter because this is not linear, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, 124.100%. Uh, and uh, 75 watts is still really not, 75% uh, not changing much. What about 10%? Now 10 would be a nice look at it. 20 watts. Okay, so yeah, so the scale is far from linear, but um, you can sort of toggle it back a bit if you're sort of feeling you're running a little bit too much power. Anyway, as you can see, they do a little bit more than 100 watts. Don't run them at more than 100 watts. Um, just do the ALC mod so you can 
definitely work from zero to 100 watts beautifully, and that's the concept of um, running the little ALC mod on these things. 73s from VK3, Charlie Mike um, over here in uh, Tangambalanga, northeastern Victoria, Australia. All the best.